All right, kitchen dwellers, today we cook a Miyazaki A5 Wagyu steak that is bigger than my face. This steak was kept in deep freeze for storage and in a vacuum sealed bag. This makes it already perfect for sous vide cooking. Go to your combination steam oven and select sous vide. We're cooking at 130 Fahrenheit for one hour. This will allow the steak to defrost properly and also cook to the perfect temperature on the inside. While you're waiting for the steak, get your rice ready. I'm using a sushi rice with one teaspoon of coconut oil. This gives it a very nice fragrance and also makes the grains super shiny. After the long waited hour, the steak is done. It doesn't look like much right now and it will take a little bit of extra effort to make it just perfect. Take the steak out of the bag and pat it really dry. After patting it dry, we're going to dress it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Feel free to go a little bit more salt and pepper than you feel like you should be doing. The fattiness will need a little bit of more flavoring to balance everything out. Make sure your pan is super well heated and drop your steak in. No need for any oil as this steak will generate its own butter pretty much. After about a minute, flip it over and do the same thing for the other side. Take the steak out and rest for about two to five minutes and carve into it. This should give you a perfect medium rare and oozing with good fattiness. Slice it up into thin slices or however you like and begin appreciating the true beauty that is an A5 Wagyu steak. And now we go into the second round.